Welcome to the Process Metallic Color System by ColorLogic. The Process Metallic Color System is a licensed print technology available for inkjet, offset, flexo and digital printing. Step 1. Output the ColorLogic print certification test forms on your machine. This shows a full range of effects available with our system. Step 2. Output the ColorLogic Process Metallic Color charts on your machine. Step 3. Install the Process Metallic Color System on your computer. This contains the color palettes and plugins to design sales presentations, masterclass tutorial programs and marketing artwork and samples. Step 4. Design using your Process Metallic Color System to create outstanding dynamic print. Next we'll show you a step-by-step -step guide to designing with the Process Metallic Color System using Photoshop, Illustrator and InDesign. Creating metallic images in Photoshop is extremely simple using the Process Metallic Color System. Simply open your image, load the color logic actions, play the action. This will then convert the file into five separations, generating a silver plate based on a 61-step image separation algorithm. It is then down to the designer to make a mask to remove the silver from the unwanted areas. Simply deleting to white. So the white areas on the separation no silver will print and the black and tonal areas on the silver separation is where the silver ink will print. Switch the CMYK channels back on. We can turn the silver on and off to see what is happening. The lady will print in CMYK and all the background will be metallic. This takes into account ink saturation limits on the machines and makes sure you don't have any problems when printing. Simply save the file. We're going to save this as a PSD file, ensuring that you have the spot color selected and click Save. And that's it, a Photoshop image run through the action set and converted in seconds. Using Adobe Illustrator, we're going to create our artwork using the ColorLogic Metallic Palettes. First of all, we open the ColorLogic Metallic Silver Palette. We add the colors we want to our list and also the ColorLogic Metallic Silver. These will now appear in your Swatches window. Select your artwork and color it up. We're going to make the CCL106. This specifies the CMYK percentages. Next, we need to make it metallic. We use the action set called Make Fill Metallic. You run the action and it makes the selected area metallic. We are also going to color up and make metallic the legs in this map. Selecting all the legs, I color them up the same CL106 color as before. Then we run the action to make the metallic. Quickly and easily, we have now created metallic seas and lakes, leaving the landmass as process for contrast. Then we save our file as an EPS file. We can then take that EPS file into a page layout program such as InDesign, or we could send it directly through to a RIP. The final part of the tutorial, we're going to use Adobe InDesign as the page layout program. From before, we have the Photoshop image that we have imported into the document with a metallic background and the Lady SCMYK. We have the globe map with a metallic sea and lakes and the landmass SCMYK. Next, we're going to work on the Latitude 40 logo. We're going to create a color scheme of two gradated metallic colors. Unlike other metallic systems in the marketplace, the Process Metallic Color System is able to gradate colors from one to another. For example, you could gradate a gold into silver or any other combination of metallic colors. First, we select the background and we're going to add some new color swatches using the ColorLogic Metallic Library. We're going to add CL103 and we're also going to add the CL103 Dimensional FX, 
so that where we have the number 40, we're going to apply a dimensional FX pattern. We're going to scroll down to the next color we want, which is CL242, and we add those to the list. You will now see that those colors have been brought into our swatch palette. Next, we need to make the selected design into a gradient. I then specify the first color of the gradient to be CL242 on the left-hand side. And then we're going to have CL103 on the right-hand side. We have now gradated a dark grey metallic into a steel blue metallic. Next, I'm going to select the 40, and we're going to make it dimensional FX. So again, I'm going to create a gradient, and whereas before we had CL242 as the metallic, this time we want it to be CL242 dimensional FX. And then we want CL103 dimensional FX. The idea is that when you create a dimensional FX pattern, you need to use the same dimensional FX equivalent colors to the metallic background. Next, we're going to use our gradient tool to make the start and end point exactly the same as we have for the background metallic. The design is now complete. A metallic image in the background, a map with metallic sea and lakes, and metallic gradients with a dimensional FX pattern. Whilst we're here, we will also make the spine solid metallic silver. And I'm going to switch on an additional back page, which I had previously designed. And there we have the full design, easily created in metallics. I'm now going to use the separation preview to turn off the CMYK so that we can see the silver separation. We have the silver where the C was, and notice how when we gradated out metallic colors, we're not gradating the silver, only the process inks that are printed on the top of it. Our background image has a tonal range of metallic in the imagery and various areas on the back page in metallic. If we turn off the silver separation, we can see just the CMYK channels. An interesting observation is that we have left the heading colors such as the red, orange, and yellow as CMYK process. Leave these as impact colors so that they stand out on your design. It is also recommended not to go above 40% of the design in metallic, leaving process areas so the design stands out. And that's it. Save your file ready for output and send it to the RIP. To be able to print metallic colors, the printer has to be set up accordingly in the RIP. The spot color options have to be activated. We now enter the printer configuration menu. Here we choose the ink configuration menu. This shows us a list of all possible combinations of inks that are supported by the RIP. The configurations that refer to spot colors contain an S in addition to CMYK. Ticking the boxes will activate the relevant ink configuration. In this case, we see four spot color configurations for the Mimaki JV3-160SP. Now, as we've done the right printer settings, we create a new media setting for the metallic printing. We follow the workflow. First, we give the new media a name. We enter the ink configuration and choose the spot color configuration that resembles the ink configuration of our printer. In this case, it's a Mimaki JV3-160SP, and we choose a configuration with CMYK, light colors, and two channels metallic, so all eight channels of the machine are in use. We do not change the process color setup, as it is still CMYK. Then we open the spot color setup. Here we add two spot colors, representing the two spot color channels of the machine. The color that represents the spot colors in the pre-flight can be chosen. We choose two colors that are clearly distinguishable from common colors in images. 
If we represented metallic by grey, it would be hard to detect in the job preflight window. Having finished all that, we proceed with the workflow as usual. The first steps in this setup of the new print mode are shown here. We give the mode a name. And choose the right resolution. The ink restrictions or ink limits for the metallic inks are left at 100%. We can now proceed with the printer calibration as usual. Only CMYK is calibrated. The metallic channels are not calibrated. The procedure can be shortened by importing the appropriate CMYK profiles from existing setups. This shows the pre-flight window with a six-channel image opened. According to our settings beforehand, the two spot color channels are represented as bright green. The media we just created is chosen and the ink setup CMYK plus two spots is displayed. The print mode is displayed below. In the color correction menu, CMYK and the two spot channels are shown. If we reduce the spot color channels to naught, we see the image as an ordinary CMYK picture. In this example, the values for the spot colors are set to minus 20. These settings can be saved as a filter that is applied to all metallic images. However, as there will be images from different sources, manual corrections of the metallic level can be necessary. The image can now be printed. The conversion of colors in vector images into metallic colors is very simple. In the pre-flight window, we open the image with the metallic ink settings. Then we open the color correction menu. The color replacement function is in the tools menu. Here we activate the sample function and the spot colors. In this example, we want to convert the gray areas into gold. With the sample tip, we click into the gray area. As desired color, we define a gold. In this example, it is composed of 35% magenta, 100% yellow and 70% metallic in each spot color channel. We chose light green to represent the metallic channels, therefore we immediately see the result of our operation in good contrast. The converted image can now be printed.